And yet the problem has not been properly solved. There is little space for excuses between us. It is not my intention to offend you, but please, tell me where you stand. You are the Hydro Archon Fosalor, are you not? Look at this. This is a list of the... Python. <laughs> Get on. I, you mean they're all? We did not arrive in time to avert this disaster, and I will not have it happen again. <laughs> I will say this once more. You must tell me everything you know. Yesterday. I found three stone slates in some ancient ruins near Poisson. Do you know anything about those? Seriously? You're questioning me like this is a court case now. I don't know anything about that. But you found them in some ancient ruins, you say? That's correct. Which is why I came to ask you some questions. There should have been four slates, but one of them was missing. The other three featured different images that seemed to correlate to the prophecy. <laughs> The prophecy? The second of these slates depicts the previous Hydro Archon Egeria kneeling before a floating island in the sky, as if confessing something. Do you know nothing of this either? I don't. I've never seen such slates. I'll ask you again. Get on. Do you really have no information regarding the previous Archon? My deciphering of the slates indicates that the Hydro Archon Egeria once had to confess to, or apologize for, a certain sin. If anyone would know about it, it should be you. All gods don't have the same secrets, you know. She was herself and I'm me. <laughs> Is it really so strange that I know nothing? I understand your concerns, but I'm sorry. I just don't have anything to tell you. Oh. Wait a minute. <sighs> Forgive me for saying this now, Lady Farina, but I have long known of your various secret investigations into certain matters. There are several indications that you have been investigating the prophecy on the sly. This is not strange in itself, considering that you are the Hydro Archon. You have never been as superficial as you have presented yourself to be, nor are you a fool. And yet, your behavior is very inconsistent. <laughs> oh, so you've been watching me all this time, have you? I didn't think you were that type. Well, since you know about my secret investigations, then you should know I'm actually working to take care of it. There's no point questioning or suspecting me. You're the Eudix, but you're still my subordinate. You should be following my lead. Just trust in me, your Archon, and do as I say. Never mind whether you can truly convince yourself to or not. It'll all turn out fine. That's all I have to say. We do not discuss this matter again. Oh, <laughs> the opera is about to start. Toodles. Okay. Chạy qua mới biết luôn. Did Farina not notice us standing by the door? I wonder what's up with her. She was... I assume you've been outside for a while now? Oh! You noticed! She was in a great panic, though I cannot discern the reason. How still I do not understand. Dialogue is the basis for understanding, so why did she keep refusing to engage? Everyone in her inner circle has noticed that she is hiding some secret. We may have to create a situation in which she will have no choice but to speak. Oh? Like... Normally, people will only reveal the truth when standing trial. Perhaps we must have the Hydro Archon experience just such a scenario. But Farina's seen so many trials, and 
and she's really good at dodging questions. How do we make sure... We will need to consider this thoroughly, no, 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 join no, no, no. forces with various parties, and then do what we can. <sighs> if at all possible, I would prefer to recuse myself from this affair, but we must prevent the prophecy from coming to pass. This may be cruel to her, but all Fontaine is in crisis. The information... Hmm. But who will let... Who? Well, that's everyone, huh? Speaking of which, it was pretty smart of you to think of hiding here. Poisson was just involved in a disaster, so it's presently devoid of... And here you are, drinking tea like it's the... That's what family should do. <laughs> it's nice to enjoy tea here, you know? Care for a cup? Ahem. <clears throat> Lend me your ears, everyone. They know so they are. Or perhaps one of you might like to start us off. How about you, friend? You need to... Uh, me? No. I... Hmm. Uh, then... How about you, good sir? I fear that I will cause the mood on this boat to become as somber as it is in court. <laughs> well then, I guess we're lucky we've got a local like me to organize things. Wonderful, the spotlight at last. I guess I'll be facilitating things from here. That was a little long-winded, don't you think? Oh, <laughs> you might be right. Anyway, to cut to the chase, our friend here, the Traveler, has brought us together to discuss something. As for what that is, well... Uh, let's start by saying that we'll be pooling our efforts together to create a series of traps. Oh? Well, it's just an expression, really. One that I just learned from Chlorand. And used on the spot. Huh? Didn't you say that you would be facilitating this? Oh, come now. Your work doesn't involve much public speaking, right? This is a good chance to practice. You might even pick up some fancy oratory tricks to impress your boss with in the future. <laughs> I see. And what does my boss say? Hmm. He is glad that you consider him your boss. <laughs> in that case, <clears throat> do any of you have experience hunting? Not that I recall. Fremine and I once used a wooden stick in a basket to catch wild rabbits when we were younger. As for Lynette, um... Oh, right. You were sick that day, weren't you? Uh, I've also gone diving... Uh, I'm afraid not. You may or may not have heard, but Fontaine once played host to a group known as the Marachose Hunters. Though that was their name, they did not hunt animals but rather various monsters left behind by the ancient dynasty of King Remus. Today, Fontaine's monster population has already thinned greatly, so the hunters have blended back into society. A trap comprises of the following components. Bait, so, if we were to build a trap together, right now, what would you choose to build it with? For me, I would prefer something basket-shaped. Pigeons and rabbits will see the bait and naturally enter the snare. Our line of work requires a deft hand, and we're some of the best in the industry, so you can count on our techniques. You used some of those techniques while moving the people of Poisson, didn't you? My subordinates... Yes, and I even managed to gather some intelligence in the meantime. I'm quite the multitasker if I do say so myself. I'm afraid I can't claim that as my strong suit. I prefer more stable... Ma <laughs> <laughs> Calm and steady. Exactly the kind of person who would catch loads of fish. And I can be their assistant. With discretion, I'm sure. Hmm. I'd probably use some sort of mechanical animal. Papa once bought me some small clockwork squirrels, mice, and such. When placed in the forest, they can attract others of their kind. I remember that you liked those too, didn't you? I did. And that would be a good way. What about you, Monsieur Nevelet? I fear I do not have any related experience. Hmm. That makes sense. You usually solve problems directly, without the use of any such tricks. But I do have one more question for you. If we were to create a trap now, how would you design it? Hmm. 
and would like for it to be effective but bring no harm to the prey. A more gentle trap would be ideal. Hmm. Kind, as always. However, our intention doesn't necessarily change the containment device and the type of implement we need. If we wanted to kill the prey in one strike, we would need a powerful implement. However, that also goes for prey that must be captured and safely contained. Wait, why is that? Only a hunter who's a true expert at subduing their prey can snare... Uh, huh. We hadn't thought of seeing... If our means of capturing and dealing with our prey is to put them on trial, then the hunting metaphor is actually quite accurate. But we shall require much... Oh, so that's what's going on. Sounds very interesting. has been happening. <sighs> Hyman didn't think the meetings would go on for so long, but everyone seemed pretty fired up, huh? Hyman thought they'd be at least a little frightened. Well, Fremine was, now that Hyman thinks about it, but everyone else, uh, well, it's hard to say. Hyman doesn't have any experience. After all, you're the most reliable person in the world, aren't you? <laughs> uh, huh? Uh, did you just pour some tea? <laughs> Hyman's never seen that cup before. Don't be frightened. <laughs> I'm just joining you two for tea. <gasps> Who's that voice? Ah, have you forgotten me already? Wait, you are familiar. You're the voice we heard from the sky in Sumeru. <laughs> the voice from the sky. Huh. You're feeling lost now. Just mm, consider me a. Thing <laughs> The prophecy. Yes, what has been prophesied will be fulfilled. You may view... What? I believe you have witnessed a failed attempt with your own eyes. Can ev... Ah, so just as prophecies are usually only the future as seen from the perspectives of the gods, are the things that you shall see different from the fate that the god... What is she talking about? It all sounds real. I believe that you understand, right? Ultimately, fate shall serve as your only guide, no matter what will happen in Tev- Hmm. This was good tea, by the way. The voice. It <laughs> I see I've walked in on some lively banter. Mona! Fine, just fine. I went to take part in that Steambird panel. It turned out to be more interesting than I expect. Not all Fontanians are pessimistic about this. One journalist mentioned that sitting around and wait. Uh, did she have pink hair by any chance? Why, yes, it was Charlotte. I assume you've heard of her, no? That daredevil journalist? I'm in full support of her view. 
prophecies are very important, but... That's right! Paimon's... Ah, yes. About what we had discussed before. Mm. I did try, but I'm afraid I couldn't reach the old hag. I'll try again tonight, but I wouldn't get... Huh? Goodness gracious. Are you serious? She said that even the god's gaze has blind spots. Pretty bold if you ask Paimon. Most people... The Hexen Circle members are certainly anything but ordinary. As for the mage named N, the old hag had... But I've never met her. And if she were still alive, she'd be... Whoa. The Hexen Zirkel sounds... Their abilities alone are pretty terrifying. If she came to see you per... Well, it's not like Paimon could understand anything she said. Yes, she was quite cryptic, but... I suspect she means that there is still a way to turn things... Perhaps it is something that you... Traveler? Paimon? Are you two all right? Oh, we're fine. We're just a little down right now. It kind of feels like the end is coming, you know? I see. I guess you could consider me someone who has often witnessed, but even so, perhaps that's what N was trying to tell you. Not to lose heart. I did originally think of steering clear of all this, but I couldn't. Huh. You do have a point. <laughs> there I go, talking about astrological principles again. <laughs> Sorry about that. The moment I start talking about work-related stuff... I, oh, it was worth trying to comfort you, even if... I suppose that might be why... Paimon feels kind of moved by what Mona said. Hey, Traveler, Paimon's a... <laughs> Let's walk around the city, shall we? There's a few spots we always like to walk by. Hey, wow. <laughs> Stronghold, the Fortress of Meripede, had my recent attempts to enter the fortress bore little fruit. Huh. Guess Charlotte still hasn't given up on that. Thus, did an Outlander friend become the focus of this report? A blind adventurer with their white fairy legends trailing in their wake. It is said that this mysterious traveler once visited... So while the fortress's interior remains a mystery behind closed doors, do not fear, for the tales of the traveler contain surprises in spades. Journalist Charlotte's biggest scoop yet, the Traveler's Trail, World Walker. Huh. Charlotte took so many awesome photos of us and we never even noticed her. She hasn't been able to get a hold of anything at the fortress, so since we're easier to find, she's using us as the subject matter instead? Ugh, seriously? Well, fine. Those headlines and photos do look cool, so I'm almost forgive her. It's time to pull the trigger. Slice of cake, please. Ah, someone showed up after all. Oh, wait, you're the one from the Palais Mermonia. Oh, are you here to buy cake too? <laughs> it seems Monsieur Nervalette was right. You really can eat. Wait, did he really say something like that? That's right. Even he has his own preferences when it comes to food. As for me, 
I love the cake and coffee here. Do you come here often? Mm, usually every day. Every day? It's part of my daily schedule, apart from work. I shall have... Uh, then what if someone told you one day that this place... But why would it close? Well, Hyman doesn't know either, but... Oh, the prophecy. Um, <clears throat> to be honest, I haven't paid much attention to that. No, still, <laughs> even if there'd be no more cake tomorrow, that wouldn't keep me I from having some right today. No, no, it's the same for eating in general. You might not be able to eat tomorrow, but if you can do so today, then you should carry... What huh. is she talking about? Don't be sad. Excuse me, could I have two more slices of cake? These two slices are for ah. you. Sijuin <laughs> said that this kind of expression you're making is what human... Oh, you know Sijuin? I sure do. Mm -hmm. She was born before me, and she sometimes comes to the surface. She said that humans are creatures that are saddened easily. Yes, and you... I've got something else to do, so I'll be going... <laughs> and there she goes. All right, let's dig in. Paimon should... It's more delicious than last time. And the flavor gets even better with the sip. Sure would be nice if we could always eat delicious food. Charlotte and have a chat. Wow! If it isn't the Traveler and Paimon! Oh, have you seen the article I wrote about you? Ha! You've got some nerve! You just used up to make some quick mora! Oh, you needn't worry about that. I heard that you were in Poisson some time back, so I sent you a letter to discuss just that. It appears you didn't receive it, though. It's all right, though. I've set aside the amount intended for you. I've even set the table with some... Really? Oh, you're the best! <laughs> you're almost a little too easy to win over, Paimon. If I... Oh, Paimon... Still, what brings you here all of a sudden? Were you look... A friend of ours met you a while back. And when she mentioned it, we thought of coming to see you. Her... Ah, so you know Miss Mona as well. She's a guest columnist for our paper. Really good one, too. She's so young and already such a brilliant astrologist. So she mentioned me? What is she? She said that you're a real daredevil. <laughs> nice. In which case, can this daredevil journalist dare to request an exclusive interview with the legendary traveler and Paimon? Huh? So your article in the paper today doesn't count? Oh, of course it doesn't. That was more like live photography. What I'd like to do is dive deeper and ask you to talk about the things you've seen and experienced. Yeah, are we even qualified? Why not? If I say you're worth an interview, then you're worth it. But, oh, in that case... Oh, so that's a yes? Ooh, splendid! I'll tell the editor-in-chief immediately. I'll have to apply for lighting, a venue, some props, and... So much to get done now. Talk to you later. Wait, Charlotte. Paimon's still got a question for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what's that? If, just for example, Fontaine were to be flooded tomorrow? Huh. That's the prophecy you're talking about, isn't it? If you're seriously <laughs> asking, <laughs> then I might... From what I've seen, most people... So in all likelihood, on. I'd probably still be prepping at the office. Just think about it. If this nation really were to be suddenly destroyed tomorrow, but I still successfully finish an exclusive interview with a truly unique person, and then do you know what I'd do? Well, I'd write that story, send it for printing, and I'm not a dreamer, nor am I a workaholic. But I do, but anyway, that... That's... so... Anyway, let's go and take a look at the sea, shall we? <laughs> The sea breeze and scenery can be a pretty soothing combo, huh? Hmm. i has been thinking. If it wasn't Fontaine, but all of Tev... No, Paimon should ask if you could choose. 
We've always been moving to the next destination, so we haven't spent much time thinking about these. You mean, still tra- oh. Le Bikendre. What? It'll grow mold, but it's still better than the Fortress of Meripede, that's for sure. Ah, oh, so the two of you are still here. Oh, you're from the Palais Mermont? Yes, I'm Isadora. Monsieur Nervilad sent me to look for you two before. I heard that afterward you went to the Fortress of Meripede. <laughs> Not at all. I'm well aware that you're friends of his. Yes, inside the Opera House. The Mar- A riot? Well, that said, I don't personally think it was that serious. Lady Farina was watching a performance at the Opera House and loudly accusing her of doing nothing. And before she could respond, others started to... The crowd continued to grow and... So people have started to put the blame on Farina. Guess they finally found it. I agree. People will naturally rely on gods, as is customary. So what happened after that? Seeing that the situation was spiraling out of control, the Marichaussee Phantom had their hands full maintaining... So, you mean she's... That's right. The Marichaussee... That said, I don't think there's much to worry about. She is a god. Good. Don't worry. This is... Oh, is that... Well, sounds like we should hurry over to Poisson then. If we know Farina, she will And as we all... When Nervale was talking to her in the Palais Mer it would be hard for her to ignore... Paimon thinks Farina's prob... Huh. Well, what do you think? Paim in that case, there's none of... This place looks deserted. Guess all the survivors must have evacuated already. All that's left here are signs of devastation. Could Farina really be here? Let's try to find her as soon as possible. Oi, Nandi Arayai. That's Farina, right over there. <sighs> Should I just give up? Did I cop with my girl? This is all oh, yeah. meaningless. Did I lose the witch cop? What was meant to happen did happen after all. I'm one me. Everyone's dead. I'm sorry. Mấy người I'm kia. so sorry. <laughs> Give up, Farina. There's no point in holding out. <laughs> I'm sorry. What can I even do, other than to repeat meaningless apologies over and over? Uh, who, who's that? Don't worry, Farina, it's just us. <laughs> so, it is you, blonde traveler from another land. Why, I almost thought you were summoned from that mob of my ignorant subjects. Come to kneel and beg for my forgiveness. Farina, you were crying just now, weren't you? Uh, what do you mean, tear stains? Uh, oh, <laughs> I remember. The show at the Opera House earlier this morning was so... <laughs> Who did that uns they even dare to tout their archon? I must teach them a lesson. <laughs> 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 I can just imagine their twisted and frustrated faces once they realize that I'm nowhere to be found. Oh, and I'm sure Nouvellet and those people from the Marish Dose Phantom are freaking out right I... Uh, mm. Of course not! Hey, there she is! The Get high archon's <laughs> over there! <laughs> Quick, after her! I mean... Uh, Farina, those people seem to be after you. Uh, they are? Uh, they are just some rabid ah. fans who want to cut the line because they haven't been able to meet me in person, aren't they? But we didn't go again. Mm, that's against the rules. Okay. I can't let them get their way. Làm như tay lô sơ huyết đấy. Farina just ran off. Quick, we have to catch up with them. Go. 
เกมเกมยืนแกจะยังเจ๊จุดแต่จะเฮ้ยยากสิ There's a good hiding spot over here. Uh, what? What is this place? Hurry, they're almost here. Fine, fine. I suppose haste is warranted. I'm <laughs> not. I totally thought they had caught me. Uh, no, I mean I nearly gave in to the sheer enthusiasm. Uh, you're right. Yep, that. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, what's happening? Uh, the ground. Yeah. The quick and it can't be. Well, there's no need to worry too much about that. Yeah, but the people of Poisson. chữ dê nó nhỏ sắp đến cực hạn mình sắp khóc cảm xúc phải luôn it's true i've been investigating the prophecy for hundreds i once had informants all over i've tried all kinds of ways too don't bet all my efforts proved to be futile in the end we cannot make an enemy of the divine no matter what we do the will of <laughs> give up <sighs> indeed I've thought about fate is really on but just now it all became clear to me I still don't have the right to come to terms with fate on behalf of everyone else as long as the final moment hasn't come it's still not too late don't worry I I <sighs> Well, that's enough for now. I got the impulse to play the stricken maiden, but uh, don't take any of what I just said seriously. Oh, come on! I'm a... Share, Mark. That's impossible. It was fated right from the start that this would be my do. A witness. Huh. Yeah. And if Tavat is in it. <sighs> I. Get <sighs> toy. Holy shit, bro. <sighs> Thấy gì chưa? Bấy đấy Hay phết Trên tài <cười> Holy shit Ladies and gentlemen This concludes my opening performance Now without further ado We may proceed to the trial of our god So this is what it is. Yes, you deserve praise for the effort you took to raise the dream. Do not forget, however, that I am Thosalor, the god of justice, the embodiment of justice itself. Does it not strike you as even the least bit absurd to bring the? May I interpret these words as your refusal to stand trial? How you? How is it? In that case, you will have the opportunity to defend your honor through a duel. Ado, no. You, you would draw your blade against a god? Sợ, bán nhau nãy giờ. I see. It seems like you have made up your mind.
Oh, dear. I can't believe it. She... She just surrendered. Hmm. What the heck is going on? Well, how are... Lady Farina, what... Uh, it would seem that there has been a misunderstanding. Looking for excuses again. That... I raised my hands just now to indicate my acceptance. I will admit that I've been running away from... I'm sorry, everyone. I was unable to protect the people of Poisson. You are not the only ones to be disappointed in me. <sighs> but now, it is time for the Hydro I, Farina, will use this trial to show the world the true meaning of justice! This time, I will protect you. Okay. Applaud and Let's rejoice. Go. One of the most outrageous and fantastical arcs known to the opera Epicles is now unfolding before your eyes. Mark my words, this shall be one of the most exhilarating and brilliant shows ever to grace the stage of Fontaine. The trial of the Hydro Archon, Fosalor, will now begin! Here we go. Woohoo! Okay, the Oh, now we're. <sighs> Why does it feel like Farina just took over the whole thing? Like, come on! Didn't she just get forced oh, to stand trial for her crimes? Also, even though she's still acting super dramatic, she is taking this seriously oh, this know, time, right? Know, right? All right then. Who will be my opponent in this trial? <laughs> The court asks the prosecutor to please take the stand. Hello. Hi. Is that so? Very well. Then please speak, witness of Tivat. Get off. I just want to play this game. No tie. Just be crazy. Hello. So, please allow me to ask, as a final question, just how much work? Well, we did do a lot of prep after the meeting that day. I can go over the tasks assigned to the Spina di Rosula, since they were rather straightforward and easy. Navia, the president of the Spina di Rosula. Most of the people who participated in the disturbance this morning were my subordinates. They changed into plain clothes and came to the Opera House as regular audience members waiting for the perfect opportunity to incite insurrection against you. The people's resentment against their Archon has been building as more and more of the prophecy is fulfilled. A spark was all we needed to turn smoldering anger into a flame. Moreover, according to our understanding and analysis of you, when something like that occurred, you would likely flee the scene and head to Brisson by yourself. So, we arranged for a second group to... So, you mean... The ones who scoured the settlement for me were also from the Spina. And their goal was to force you to step into the giant magic box so you may personally participate in the greatest magic performance oh, yeah. in all of Fontanian history. And that's right. That house was a magic box rather than someone's residence. As the super ultimate version of the setup that I used when I first performed at the Opera Epicles, the volume of the box was increased by a whole order of magnitude, and the distance it traversed was the entire gap between Poisson and Arrhenius. Was an Archon instead of a human. My thanks, Farina. Without your help, we could never have... Uh, you Of course, this performance was only made possible with Father's support. The House of the Hearth <laughs> spent a massive amount of labor in Mora to pull this off. <laughs> We had to select a location, construct the giant magic box, dig a tunnel, and open up a path through the water. So, in other words, the earthquake that we felt within the giant magic box... That's right. It wasn't a sign of another disaster to come. <laughs> then, I can guess Nervilette and... You gathered a crowd, prepared a stage, and made sure that the champion duelist would be immediately ready for a fight. Also, that as soon as I appeared on the stage, the trial. Yes, that is correct. 
Well, Clorand, I must commend you for your courage. Mm. Thank you. As for you, Traveler, you'd make sure that I didn't notice anything amiss before revealing yourself as my prosecutor once we'd arrived onto this... Oh? <laughs> it's fine. Admit the stage is already set, so there's no reason to disappoint the audience. Let's see this trial through to the... Madam Prosecutor, please allow me to pass this along. This is a document that Miss Charlotte applied for and received permission to share with you during the trial. Huh? Charlotte wanted to give us something? Oh, so she's here too! Hey, Charlotte! Oh, let Paimon see. Uh, isn't this the exclusive interview that she did with us before? So she... <gasps> Wait, then that means this document? So in other words, we can refer to this anthology of evidence. Let's quickly confirm the information in it. Just think of it as a refresher, all right? You defeated the Hydro Come Archon on. in the very first duel you took part in at the Opera House. That's one for the... I didn't think that you'd wind up getting to the bottom of the case I'd been following all this time. I guess you could off this is the first time Monsieur Nervilette had a difference of opinion with the oratories. If a Fatui Harbinger, she's an extraordinary person. Her instinct must mean something. The fortress of Meripede was almost destroyed in a single day. That I didn't witness that scene person. According to Monsieur Nervilette, both child and that whale should have been in the... I nearly lost my awesome friend Navia. To be honest, that still gives me shivers. The words of someone as extraordinary as a witch can probably only be truly understood when something surreal happens to you. The prosecution and the defense are both in position. The trial shall now begin. <laughs> oh, come on, Nervy. Just fast forward to the part where the prosecution lays out my offenses. As the defendant and the lead actress of this performance, I still haven't even been informed of my supposed guilt in all of this. Of course, it is only natural for humans to struggle to understand the actions of a god. That's true, but my charge here is unrelated to your Hello. conduct as an archon. Yeah, Instead, I would like to charge you as a fraud who's never been the archon in the first place. Hello. What? Wait, what was that? Lady Farina's a fraud? Hey, Is that our? I came here thinking that you were going to try the Hydro Archon for forsaking her duty, but did I hear that right? Charge accepted. Lady Farina, do you plead guilty? Uh, Lady Farina. I plead not guilty. How can I? There is no way that I, Fosalor, otherwise known as Farina de Fontaine, a member of the Seven and the Regina of all waters, kindreds, peoples, and laws of Fontaine, could be anything other than your true Archon. Yeah. Even though Lady Farina can be rather eccentric, isn't it going to... Yeah, I've never questioned her identity either. Sure, Lady Farina... I have cause to believe that common sense will prevail in this case. Many of the members of the audience have known me as the Hydro Archon ever since they were born. There would see. <laughs> Even the Oratrice has decided to show me its favor. Are you sure? If you wish to drop the case, I can promise you as the God of Justice that you will not have... Huh. An argument with near impossible odds, huh? You have to not only refute Farina's claims, but also... Well, I tried to give you the chance to surrender. If and if I was not the Archon... Jedi. How... <cười> không hiểu gì về mấy cái này luôn đấy. Thế là cái này. Hmm, that không liên quan. À đây. 
Ở đây đây chắc rồi này. First of all, you may be a member of another long-lived race, which would allow you to naturally possess an extended life. <cười> Who gave you that idea? Was it the knave? You'd sink so low as to use a harbinger's words against me. A curse. I want but in light of this claim. Perhaps You sense it too, Hanavert. Lady Farina is actually a human? Well, it is true that it's extremely difficult to tell humans and god Well, don't start celebrating too early now. Even if I have been carrying a curse like you said, how does that prove that I am merely besides? Everyone knows that the main difference between a human and a god is that for centuries, manifestations of my authority have one need only to turn their eyes towards the oratrice mechanique de Annalise Cardinal in this very yep. opera house. Oh. <laughs> you tried to reference the oratrice, but weren't you as confused as all the rest of us when the oratrice declared child to be guilty without any proof? Otherwise, you should have come up with a good explanation for that by now. Didn't I make myself clear at the time? The decisions of the gods are naturally difficult for you. Lady Farina, I believe a reminder of while the court is in session, the principles of justice and the law must come before all else. While you are an Archon, you are also first and foremost the defendant in this trial. You will prove yourself unable to defend against the prosecution's charges if you continue... <laughs> I never thought you'd use that kind of rhetoric against me. That was no trick of rhetoric, Lady Farina. <laughs> so, you neither knew why Child was declared guilty, nor did you understand the structure and operations of the Oratrice. Instead of having been created by you... The real Hydro Archon. Well, now you're really losing. It is true that I did not know why the Oratrice gave... But the Oratrice handed out that ver... You can't... You can't argue that just because a divine creation is... <sighs> she's still throwing out all kinds of excuses. Seems like she's confident that we won't be able to produce... My power as an Archon. There... If that poses a concern, I'm prepared... Um, <laughs> you don't need to go. That's... I... Aren't you the Hydro Archon? Or is it mm. that you can't... Even... Indemnidium! Yes! It's all because of Indemnidium! All Archons derive their power from the faith of the people, and I've converted the people's faith in justice into... Thus did I give up all of my... <laughs> Isn't that... Yeah, no matter how generous an Archon can be, how could they give up all their... It seems like nobody's buying Farina's... Hey, come now, everyone. Please don't stare at me as if I'm still the same Farina you knew, right? Please. If what the prosecutor said is true, she really has committed a grave offense. Did she deceive all of us? And all of our parents and grandparents too? And then all of our ancestors? Enough! That's enough! Tell me then, if I'm not the real Hydro Archon, then who is? If you have no evidence of another Hydro Archon's exist- Wow! She came up with yet another argument! Uh. The Con mẹ. Thịt con. 
I didn't even read it, it bro. It has been established that all fun Since you insist on claiming to be a god and not a human, then there's a method that you can use right here and... Miss Navia, please apply to serve as a temporary attorney for the prosecution before addressing the court. Though you act in part... <sighs> Super sorry, Monsieur Chief Justice. I swear this really will be the last time that I'll speak out of turn. Now, I've brought some seawater from Poisson. As everyone knows, a mass of blood struck the... Including those of some of my closest friends. So, Miss Farina, would you dare to touch some of the seawater? If we are to believe that you are indeed the real Hydro Archon, touching the seawater would have no effect on you. But, if you don't dare to touch it, then we would have basically proved the reverse. Oh, and I must remind you that after the disaster at Poisson, nobody wants to see any more people dissolve. I do hope you'll act prudently and choose Navia from the Spina di Rasula. The Spina has governed Poisson for many years. I get- If Lady Farina is indeed just a human, she's probably Fontanian like all the rest of us. Would she really dare to try? Get away. Lady Farina, this test has been unilaterally proposed by the prosecution. As it falls outside the realm of standard court proceedings, you possess the right to... <laughs> well, of course he had to tell her that. But refusing to participate... She's just staring at the water with her... What's going on? Is she really planning to... <sighs> Due to the inherent risk of the test, Lady Farina, you what? can- What? up, right? What? Hey! Sao vẫn nói không biết nó là thật gì? I, I'm fine. Look, look at me, everyone. My hand is still here. I haven't been dissolved. Will you believe me now? I really am your Archon! I'm nothing like a normal human who would fall apart as soon as they touch this water! Really? What- Miss Siegewin? If you're- Siegewin? Don't be nervous. It'll just take a few seconds. Get off. Hmm. <laughs> Please announce the results. As everyone doubtlessly saw, Miss Farina was displaying symptoms. She was experiencing the adverse effects of exposure to primordial seawater. The extent to which she was affected is the same as other humans when exposed to primordial sea. Thank you, Miss Siegewing. Oh, wait. What did she just say? I didn't get dissolved. Shouldn't that be enough to prove my innocence? Well, considering your tendency to run from your problems, we did originally prepare a direct sample of the seawater around... However, after extensive discussion, we exchanged it for a sample that is not concentrated enough to dissolve an actual human. We don't want anyone else to lose their life to the sea. Yeah, so out of regard for Farina's life, you secured a low con... It's a great thing that the direct sample wasn't actually... I... I can't believe... Hey, you are. You... You are. Listen to me! Listen to me, everyone! Please don't give me such cold and disdainful looks! What happened just now didn't prove a single thing! Think about it! How can you conclusively prove that an Archon can't also be affected by the primordial seawater? Also, also, if I was really just a human, why would I dare to just put my hand in that kind of water? <laughs> Please, everyone, anyone, just listen to me. I swear, I really am your Archon. Bị thương. <laughs> I don't think anything she says at this point will sway anyone. The up With all the things that have been said, Paimon doesn't think there's any way left for Farina to win. I believe the time for arguments and presentation of evidence has come to an end. If there are no objections, 
We will move on to the final judgment. <sighs> I don't think anything she says at this point will sway her to just be stacked against her now. In my capacity as Chief Justice, I shall now render judgment on Farina's misrepresentation of herself as the Archon of Fontaine. As a human who knowingly deceived her fellow citizens, Farina is... 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 Guilty. Yeah. We shall now turn to the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal to render the final verdict on the charges. <laughs> According okay. to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, <laughs> Farina is. Is. Yes. <laughs> hmm? What? Well, what's wrong? What's the Oratrice's verdict? No, the Oratrice also displays a guilty verdict. Isn't that correct then? However, the exact wording of the verdict is thus <laughs> The Hydro Archon, guilty. <laughs> what the hell is this? To be punished via My the Lord. death sentence. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you survived, man. Uh, the, the death sentence? That's actually one of the available sentences? The death is... I've always thought that it was just a myth. The one and only time the death sentence has been handed out at the court, and it's been given to the very person we've worshipped as the god of justice? What an unexpected twist. What the fuck is this? Farina's been sentenced to death by the Oratrice? We just wanted to use the trial to show her the seriousness of things so she'd tell us the truth. How did things escalate this quickly? This outcome is indeed quite strange. According to Fontaine's current definitions of justice, as well as its recommendations for criminal sentences, is this sentence really appropriate for the crimes that have been committed? No, not a couple. <laughs> yeah, even my shit sentenced to death by the Oratrice. You know, the real evil mastermind behind the serial disappeared. Indeed. Not only is Farina's sentence overly excessive, the very point of our trial today was also to prove that Farina has never been the Hydro hey, Archon in the first not. place. But now, the Oratrice seems to have deliberately invoked the title of the Hydro Archon. What, what the does fuck? this mean? Um, excuse me, oh, if I on. may interrupt. Is the trial still going? Fremine, oh, you finally made it. I... Mm -hmm. Any mission... Is that the first prophecy slate? Huh, so the name... I looked everywhere and finally found it at the bottom of the sea, but... Has the trial already concluded? Then... Thank you for your hard work, Mr. Fremine. Please allow me... Hmm. Traveler, I believe that you have already seen the other existing slates. I would like you to come here and confirm their contents. No roulette, is it? No roulette there. I believe I have now made sense of the Hydro Archon's crime. It has to. Huh? Isn't the Hydro Archon just guilty of deceiving her people? Oh, wait, no, that's Farina, and we've already proven that she's not the Hydro Archon. Uh, so when you say Hydro Archon, do you mean the real. In truth, everything that you've encountered in Fontaine up until this point, however, I'm uncertain as to how much sense they currently. Okay, let's try to recall the contents of the. Uy. 
<cười> Tại mấy cái này The first stone slate describes what you just said It seems to show the previous Hydra Archon using her Does that mean that Fontanians are transformed Oceanids? <cười> Oh, Paima wasn't expect the second stone slate shows Celestia floating in the sky and the Hydra Archon and her people worshipping it together. But the heck, this must be the point when the Hydra Archon and the Fontanians were branded with their original sin. Does this mean that the original sin and the Hydra Archon sit? The third slate shows the Hydra Archon sinking into the sea surrounded by many... Huh. That reminds Paimon, Dick. Well, the fourth slate is the prophecy the Fontanians have been talking about. We didn't believe that such a crazy disaster could happen at first. And now... Oh, good thing. Wow, cô bị ổn cái này rồi thế nào ạ? Yeah. We know from the case of the serial disappearances of young women that Fontaine and the first stone slate tells us that long ago this might be the reason that Hey, cái này. Tôi nghĩ chọn đến khác. Đây. Cứt lột. Hay cái này. Perhaps what is about to take place has all happened before. The true sin of the Hydra Archon that Nervi and the original sin. Hmm. It's not as simple as f when Navia fell into the sea. Her caught the stone slates show the people gathered around uh. the prophecy from the stone slates found its way the fortress of Meropede was nearly flooded if we hadn't dealt with it in time they'll dissolve into the primordial sea but won't cease to exist their essence will the Hydro Archon was sentenced to death in court, shocking everyone present. Hmm. Navia fell into the water inside those ruins, and she nearly dissolved. She was surrounded by the people of... The eruption of the Primordial Sea at the Fortress of Merit... The prophecy's contents can all be verified by... Let's hear them. Hello. Incredible. Linny, we're not real humans. All Fontanians were originally created by the late previous Hydro Archon. With us, the evidence for that can be found in how only Fontanians could dissolve in primordial seawater. And how all. Oh, and according to Navia, when she was about to get dissolved, she also saw everyone gathered around for a trial. All of them in the shape of Oceanids. Indeed. Yeah, and it follows from the content of the first slate. That, that could also explain 
why the Oratrice judged the, the Hydro Archon's true sin was creating what us. the fuck? And yet, after many hundreds of years, the Hydro Archon's creations have turned around to try to judge the Archon within the Opera Epicles. Yeah, isn't the image here just like when Navia fell into the sea? So wouldn't it be trying to show the image of the Hydro Archon also in the end? The people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon... Did Paimon get all that right? You've made some keen deductions. I must say, give it... However, while you were able to decode all the information on the... When we were at the ruins, I tried to decide... Now that the Slate Collection is complete, I sh hmm. What? I believe I should share this truth not only with you, but with all the your hypotheses regarding the orc in the Fontaine of old, the previous Hydro Archon sensed the yearning of her Oceanid familiars for life on land. <laughs> the Oceanids were enamored with the beauty and romanticism of human beings, and wishing to have those experiences for themselves, expressed to the Hydro Archon their desire. However, even though water as an element is intricately linked, not one to give in. She eventually found a way to create permanent humanoid bodies mm -hmm. for her family. She poured primordial seawater into the Oceanids' blood vessels. Create but if Fontanians were to ever come into direct contact with water from mm -hmm. the primordial sea... Of course, the Hydro Archon never received permission mm -hmm. from the heavenly ah. principles to create a new human race. Yeah. Thus, the Hydro Archon and all of her creations came to shoulder the original sin of appropriating the power of the primordial sea that is the true history of how the people of fontaine first came so you i we were all oceanids before we turned that's way too much information for me i think i'm just going to pretend that i'm up wait but if that's the truth we can't let the hydro archon be sentenced to death after all her only sin was cre this really might be too much information for your race. alas your hypothesis regarding the third and fourth stone slates was inaccurate the slate's respective positions are, in fact, a key point of the visual on the third slate is how all the individuals depict they have not been dissolved, which implies that the water dip the nation of Fontaine is the nation of Hydro, as well as the nation of Trials and Justice. You may also recall Navia's experience. When she fell into the sea, therefore, the meat that the people of Fontaine shall try the Hydro Archon at the Court mm -hmm. of Justice. Yes. It refers to our present situation. I think I'm following now. So, what you're saying is, in truth, everything we've done has happened exactly wow. as the prophecy foretold. So now, it seems, we're the ones making sure it comes right. true. Look at you. Uh, what should we do? Huh. No matter what, the prophecy will be fulfilled. If that's the case, does that mean Traveler, I would like to point out another small f about the fourth slate. You probably thought that the However, I believe that rather than being assured as for the root cause of the catastrophe. What? Ooh. That guy. This eruption was just a small warning of the things to come. We must find the root cause of the disaster. Yeah, my It was both dream and reality. If we're talking about a true culprit, that could only be that thing inside the primordial sea, right? The truth, the original sin, the trial, and the root cause of the disaster. đánh con cá voi rồi đều đấy <cười> 
hành trình đến của dân đấy ơi chị xe đây rồi Đu. So we've met it at last. I understand that, that whale does not belong to Tevat. It is a. It has been greedily consuming the energy from the planet's primordial sea. Used and once it has finished consuming all of the energy. You said that when the Hydro Archon first created Fontanians out of Osea. Precisely. That whale find. Therefore, when it left the primordial sea, it decided to make its next stop a packed up. We just barely managed to push it back, right? In that case, won't it come? That is correct. Indeed, it is more accurate to say that we should thank that harbinger for buying us some from the way he looked. He must have been fighting the creature for quite yeah, a long time. Again. That battle maniac. We've always known that he had a special connection with that whale, but we definitely didn't expect. Anyway, now that we know that this whale is the actual cause of. It is too late. It had already absorbed too much of the primordial sea's energy before we could notice it. Even if the entirety of Tevat were to be destroyed, it could still survive and swim. That, that's not something I will accept. We've already done everything we can, and we even found the true culprit. We've come so far. You can't just tell me that the last hurdle is some... Indeed. That's not how a grand performance should end. I'll fight it to the end. So the prophecy will be fulfilled no matter what, huh? The prophecy. Yes, what has been prophesized will be fulfilled. Just as prophecies are usually only the future as seen from the perspectives of the god, ultimately, fate shall serve as your... I believe it is preparing to carry out the death sentence. Holy shit! Holy fuck! Ui, trông trầm cảm chưa? Goodbye. No, I still need answers. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? Holy shit! So is that guy? You. <laughs> Giọng khác rồi, giọng khác rồi. 
Sorry. That shocked expression on your face is just too amusing. I couldn't help myself. You are not Farina. Who are you? Who the fuck are you? Ah, the sweet Ooh, sound look. of bewilderment. Marvelous. A sure sign that my attempt to deceive everyone was a resounding success. But to answer your question, I am Fosalor. You yeah. know, the god. Fosalor? Why did you deceive us? Oh, that wasn't my goal, of course. Goodness, no. But I had to fool the heavenly principles. Deceiving the heavenly principles? It's all because of that pernicious prophecy. Dreadful, wasn't it? Everyone doomed to dissolve. One was not amused. In fact, one was positively bemused. Nizeria. When that problem was thrust upon me by my dearest predecessor. She knew full well that the prophecy would surely come to end as one of the seven. She also knew full well that one defies the heavenly principles at one's peril. So yes, as you have no doubt surmised, it was a rather... Impossible situation that I found. I spent a terribly long time mulling it over, alone on the ocean floor. I had to outwit the heavenly principles, allow the prophecy to be fulfilled, ostensibly at least. <laughs> I'm a genius, I know. Neither, yeah. I can only assume that's why Egeria chose me as her successor. Although, looking back now, it was hardly the inheritance one dreams of. Between the tasks, <sighs> but one can only play the hand one is dealt. I did not choose this any more than I chose to be one of. So you were also once one of the Oceanids, transformed into a human by each. Yes, I was. I always dreamed of becoming human, and I still do, even now. In my eyes. To be human is to be part of the greatest opera ever known. After becoming a god, I separated my divinity from my body and spirit, leaving behind only a self that was as naive and bewildered as my Ê, past dạ, self dạ, on her dạ, first dạ, day dạ, as a human being. The me you see before you now con, is con that này. divinity. And the human counterpart I left behind, I named Farina. She could feel joy, sorrow, and everything in between. She could be as vain and conceited, or as meek and vulnerable. Her strengths were of a kind only a human. But in my eyes, Farina's humanity was what made her perfect. She was perfectly human in every way. Anyway, so then I cursed her. All part of the plan, of course. <sighs> Do you still remember the final scene of the prophecy? In order that the prophecy might appear fulfilled, I invited Farina to be an actress. To pl Under the curse I placed on her, so long as I, Fosalor's divinity, continued to exist, she could not die, but nor was she free to... Instead, she was forced to take the stage in the Opera House. To I suppose now you probably understand why your court is called the Opera Epicles. But Farina is only human, mm. isn't she? Even though she has had a long life, Don't her mind is no stronger than that of any other ordinary human yeah, being. I... Cannot begin to fathom what it has indeed. And although she is, in a sense, me, it's been five hundred years, and all along, she's been playing her part in the most unimaginably long, unbearably lonely, and agonizingly painful opera of all time. Did you? Nước gió tay ấy, à, cuối cùng à, nhìn thấy nêu với cửa Fosaloa đang nói với nhau
Mực trông kìa Sợ đi Mẹ mặt nó cười cười Mau À đúng rồi Có mở cửa được vô Đi đi ra À đi còn nếu đi được đây cứ Chế độ đấy. Oh, who permitted you to come onto the stage? Now, I understand your admiration. All right, all right. It is not my intent to reprimand you. There is no need to state your name. Just be off with you. Do not distract me from my performance. <laughs> oh, do not jest. Can you not feel it? I am Fosalor. The eyes of countless Fontanians are upon me. I must, at all times, display the utmost elegance and nobility. <laughs> Dear audience, The performance is What? experiencing yeah, yeah, yeah. a technical difficulty, but worry not. The guards shall resolve it soon. How dare you! Hey, what gives? The audience is still watching me, you know. Guards? Wait, where are the guards? Guards! Nhạc to rồi đấy. Tại tao muốn bật tại tao đang bật nhạc to ấy liền. Farina. Farina. Huh? Uh, who's that? Uh, who's calling me? Where are you? Be not nervous. Be not afraid. I am before you. Wait a moment. Run off. You're near me? How can this be? In front of me. Before. Hmm. <laughs> Mirror you, huh? Mm -hmm. You know what? That's not bad. Let's go with that. Mirror me. W what do you wish to say? The prophecy. What prophecy? <sighs> the people <laughs> will all be dissolved into the waters. And only the Hydro Archon will remain. Oh. <laughs> What's... Going on? I can't see. <laughs> yes, it will. But doesn't that mean everyone will die? I'm a Fontanian just like them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. Magical meetings exist in this world precisely. It is the reason I will tell you how to save everyone. But. Oh. Oh, so there's still as for the suffering, but 
If the prophecy will come true, if there were scales, with all the people of Fontaine on one side and my pain on the other, is it not obvious where this... <laughs> <laughs> I suppose this would also... Huh? Don't worry, it's nothing. Listen well. Fontaine has just lost its Hydro Archon. I need you to play a... Play as... a god? That's right. You must begin a never-ending masquerade. You must never let anyone suspect your identity. If you can keep it up, then I shall have my way of defying... But... how will I do this? A human... Don't worry. What you must do is not to... T being a human yourself, I'm sure you remember. Your true challenge... Um... I... So, <laughs> how long am I going to... accomplish this mission? You will have to stay on the stage, but... I promise you... All... A trial... Huh... How exciting! I'll be looking for... lâu lắm nhìn mẹ ai mẹ chồng sợ đi chả có cái mẹ gì luôn bấm gờ nó không bấm được rồi từ mới hiện logo ở đây không cần mở được chú cỏ con chó chuột thôi mày không nhận Đây mẹ chừng 4 rồi mẹ bao giờ mẹ mày lên uh, phụ, kia Jalista thì ổn chế là nhiều cái hay nữa. <cười> The Maison Cardinalis has announced my accession. But what should I say to most appear like uh, um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Opera Epicles. I'm sure you've all heard about how I have taken on the role of Hydro Archon. Indeed, I am Farina de Fontaine, your new Archon. In truth, I know little about becoming a nation's new <laughs> god, but it what? will be my honor to guide you all. As the god Fosalor, the god of justice, I shall do all within my power to lead you into an age of fairness and justice. Once again, thank you all for coming. If you should have any this, I thought I might stammer, but thankfully, I was a- That's the new Hydro Archon. Is this some kind of joke by the Maison? I would have thought that a being that surpasses humanity would be a bit more assertive. <gasps> hey, did you hear that? She even told us to send her suggestions there at the end. Shouldn't gods be all powerful? She's being so modest. What's the difference between her and an ordinary person, then? Uh, if you ask me, perhaps the succession didn't actually happen. She might just be a maison back puppet. Wait, what's going on? Why is everyone's right? Mir me said that I just need to play the role of a god as humans imagine them to be. Calm down, Farina. Think. Think. What do the people want? How would the assertive, with a strong sense of presence, one who can dispel all doubt? <laughs> oh, very good, my people. Only ones such as you are deserving of my rule. Now, I was wondering if some weak puppet were to one day come on to the stage and claim ownership of this opera house, would the children of Fontaine follow them? <laughs> well, it seems you may consider my previous act a... Now then, let us be re Ah, huh, so that was just a performance. How could I have forgotten that we were inside an opera house? Quite shocking, to be honest, but I suppose it's a better look than before. Such a fascinating and bold deity. How wonderful. Our future may yet be bright after all. It seems I've turned them around. 
Best follow this flow and restart my ex- My dear people, whether you acknowledge me or not, whether you trust me or nay, I say to you, keep faith in your ardor for justice. We have heard it said that this nation's sins can no longer be washed away. No, this won't work. They'll suspect me again. Mm -hmm. I must play mm -hmm. the role yola, yola, yola. they want me to play. The scales of justice should not weigh heavy in the hands of its god. On one side, may law be the prayer on our lips. May judgment be our worship. Let us... There is no trouble in this world that justice cannot... So long as I, the Archon Fosilor, stand within the Opera Epicles, so long as I stand before the oratories, I shall even judge the gods of this world. Oi, anh quá đỉnh rồi. Oi, anh vừa sao lại? Urina quá đỉnh luôn. Cậu nghĩ vậy anh? Trước giờ dừng nghe mỗi vòi anh ngồi ngồi vòi khác đâu. Lady Farina, here are today's case reports, as well as a summary of the follow- <sighs> Come now. Besides, none of these- Um, if I may be so impertinent, what kind of trial are you truly looking forward to? A magnificent, dramatic, and wondrous trial. A trial to end all things. <sighs> How could you hope to understand? That's true, I- Fear I lack the ability to grasp your divine thought, Lady Archon. No need for fright, and do not take what I said before too seriously. <laughs> Go now, do your duties. The trial I await, it will come one day. Did <laughs> Oh shit, đang quay mình. Lady Farina, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you for agreeing. No need to thank. <laughs> All right, Deuteria, is it? How is your son's illness? Tăng hình ngay, chả nói. You, he's doing much better now. In fact, he is far more of an ardent believer than I. He was the one who forced me to seek an audience with you and to bring your words back to him. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, you're such a... <laughs> Tao chưa hiểu rồi, tao chơi gì luôn Rồi chết chơi thôi, mình còn mở con cá voi uh, Lady Farina, here are the latest hydrological reports As for the specific parameters you asked to take note of um, uh, I see, it's as I thought then As your god, all manner of signs uh, Well, as Really? Have they found any I'm <coughs> It's finally over, but it's good to see that everything... Maybe this is fine. <sighs> Lady Farina, here are the new trial reports for the latest cases, as well as a summary of the follow-up. Uh, there'll be no need for that. I've seen them already. There's no need to go back over scenes I've witnessed in person before. Lady Farina, I've waited so... Indeed, my dear Lloyd. Lady Farina, 
We're detecting significant hydrological anomalies near Poisson. Understood. Keep monitoring. Uh -huh. <sighs> I don't think I let anything slip today. I must show the people that there is nothing to worry. I just don't know when these days. Why not for you? I feel utterly exhausted. Best to rest early today. buồn nhỉ có cái hệ vai lột vai lột holy fuck lady farina it's <laughs> it's like a dream being able to speak with you up close like this i've heard that the first Mà member of our family nhỉ? who was honored to receive an audience with you was madame dioteria almost 20 generations ago <laughs> and what a fine fit <laughs> sure um, my lady? Hmm? What is it, good citizen? Oh, are, are you crying? Uh huh? Uh, <laughs> oh, really now? Uh, I. 182,000. Đây có máy tính này. Mình bốn đúng không? Mình bốn là ngày thứ tư. chia cho thì bẻ mày ba chấm sáu năm. Bốn trăm chín chín năm. Úi rồi. This must be the overflow of hydro from my person. Well, can't quite help being the god whose dominion is the waters, can I? Thế. Yeah. Cuối cùng là là Furina quá khứ như thế này. No wonder. No wonder. A manifestation of your power, then. Oh, Archon, I am honored to have witnessed it. Honored indeed. <laughs> so interminable. <laughs> so lonely. Just how much longer. Đây rồi, chính nó Chính cô mẹ Giọng hát ở Đài Lucid này rồi đây. Chính nó đây 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 ông Hoàng này oh, Hóa ra là thế As Manthus wine tasted Bắt đầu nếu hiểu bây giờ mình mới chơi I think the next one's a trial Hóa ra là nó Spoil trước In trước đây, 3 tháng trước đây 22 tháng 8 Thì ra là nhiệm vụ từ 2 tuần rồi bây giờ mình mới chơi Where do my feelings come from? As Manthus wine. Hundreds of years must have passed by now. Perhaps the show must go on for hundreds more. Hóa ra vậy. Hóa ra giọng của Furina. I never imagined that it would hurt so much. Have I reached my limit? No. Perhaps I reached it long ago. Today I didn't even notice my own tears. I want to tell someone, anyone, about this. But would that not destroy? 
destroy all I've done so far. I've conducted so many investigations across the centuries. But there's not even a sliver of hope that we might break the prophecy. Yeah, I'm out of không uh, Purina khó đi nhìn trẻ trâu ấy thôi. All I can do is keep heart. I must maintain this act. And it's the only way to save Fontaine. Please mirror me. You have to succeed. Mà nó bao nhiêu đây? 182376 Purina và Farina, you don't have to shoulder this burden alone. Although I don't know what you might be keeping from everyone, your people are more than willing to share your burden with you. Ngày hôm qua đây. Share my burden. That's impossible. It was fated right from the start that this would be my duty alone. But even if your burden doesn't need to be shared, you can still choose to confide in someone. Just share it with me. A witness. Huh. Yes, I've heard that you came to Tevat from beyond the stars, yes. In other words, you never belonged here. And if Tevat is, in its entirety, a show on a stage, then you're just a spectator, aren't you? <sighs> it... She's right. I could confirm that if things don't play out as expected... No, Farina. You shouldn't be selfish. <sighs> but what if... Farina... You've worked so hard for so, so long. Surely it would be okay to put yourself first. Is it such an outrageous thing to do anyway? If you let this opportunity slip, think about it long and hard. nothing to say all you need to do dear spectator is to witness my performance until the curtains fall <sighs> fine So even Farina doesn't know the truth? You've never once let her in on the full plan? Yes, it had to be done. To deceive the Heavenly Prince, she did very well. If she had let her resolve falter even once in these five centuries, Fontaine would have been... It seems that trusting humanity was... The I believe that I understand how your deception works. How would you build on this foundation to... Ah, good, good. Of course, the Udex of Fontaine has pinpointed the crux of the... I'm sure you've long since... I've always suspected that it had its own consciousness. And Linny did mention that he heard a human voice within the core chamber. It now seems that that person was you. And then I became one with the Oratrice, taking Fontaine's gnosis with me. Yes... It, alas, your understanding of this device, in truth, it is no enactor of justice. <laughs> I... Oh, you have it. And to be more precise, not only will the oratrice take down... <laughs> I mean, my work over these last 500 years has been to constantly accumulate indemnidium within the oratrice. But really... Some have already discovered that only the vast majority has been, had to be, accumulated to enact this Here death sentence. Nothing. It was all a part of your plan then, both the trial- Indeed. 
This power, accrued over five centuries, could have sustained Fontanians for millennia. Ha but only power of this magnitude could hope to destroy the Hydra. So the Oratrice's call for death was for neither Farina nor Fosalor, but for the Hydro Archon. The destruction of that divine throne. If I returning what's rightfully your in other words, this was all done to return the authority of the Hydro Archon to the Hydro Dragon of this planet. <sighs> oh, what? The authority of the ancient dragons shall soon be all you've done throughout the years. It's just so you can I've never quite seen it that way, you know. Even now, I'm quite pleased at how well my deception worked. <laughs> Hydro Dragon, Hydro Dragon, don't cry. I must say, had it been within my rights, I would have loved to judge the heavenly principles themselves. Egeria stole the power of the primordial sea. And that I, for my part, am speaking of justice. I have always believed that just so, if the theft of the primordial sea, then, leaving matters of procedural right and wrong, in other words, exist defying the prophecy and ensuring that Fontaine's people shall live on. That should be the justice and at this point, we, Udex Nervillet, the highest So when I was invited to the court of Fontaine to serve as Udex, at last. In the beginning, I was uninterested in human existence. But these five centuries of living alongside you are things being as they are. Surely you know that I could never declare them to be guilty. Mm. <sighs> the hour of my execution is almost here. For the sinner, the curtain call has come. I know I may not sound it, but faced with death, I find myself a little afraid. Perhaps this is one thing both gods and humans have in common. <laughs> Farewell, Nervalet. I hope you've enjoyed the part you played these 500 years. Holy shit, that was so cool! I declare, people of Fontaine, your sins are forgiven.
Here we go. Attack. Oh my fucking god. This is so cool, bro. What now? <laughs> what just happened? Has the death sentence been uh, carried out? Was that bright light some sort of misdirection? <sighs> but since we're all still... It's time to end this. We must Let's meet go. our Let's punishment go. to that beast. The main event. I have gained the strength sufficient to deal with it. Through we should seize the opportunity to pursue our quarry. Traveler, now that the oratories can no longer function, I require an executor to help me mete out just the root of the calamities befalling Fontaine, the beast that enacts the prophecy. Mm -hmm. Its name is the all-devouring Narwhal. Come with me, Traveler. The hour of execution has come. Không, không biết đâu được dùng tim của mình không bây giờ chỉ được dùng lumin mới với lightem nhỉ chắc là dùng 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 đấy chắc không được dùng tim của mình rồi dùng tim của mình thì nó hết cái hay à vẫn được dùng tim của mình ở đây con rồi chứ rồi nhưng mà tin xảo ăn thua gì มันก็ออกมาแล้วมันก็ออกมาแล้วมันก็ออกมาแล้วมันก็ออกมาแล้วมันก็ออกมาแล้วมันก็ออกมาแล้วมันก็ออกมาแล้วมันก็ออกมา
But you, on the other hand, so you may speak to me as equals. <laughs> Can you? I have to agree. It's a strange use of a planet's pro That kind of power is wasted on it. It's not cooperative. It eats all in all. It fails as a pet. Hey, uh, Miss Girk. Uh, the point being. Get it. Well, being that this pet almost destroyed an entire nation. So what sort of person is your master? Well, child's master's master. Wait, is that right? Oh, right. So you don't know him. Sorry, I assume his name is Sertologi. Sertologi. I am unfamiliar. Huh. So Master is insufficiently famous. Hmm. How should I... The foul? Is he cook Still nothing? Well, how about the visionary? Oh. Vetterful near then? Or gold Rhine daughter? Ooh, that one we've heard! Rhine daughter's part of the Hexen Circle. She's open... Oh, so you do know that name. To be honest, but I suppose you understand now, yes? Wait! Didn't you also mention- Actually, never mind that. That the all-devouring Narwhal used up nearly all its strength fighting you. Such roiling hydro energies will prove difficult for the- As such, the Fontaine back on the surface has most likely been thrown into chaos. In other words, the prophecy that you've been fretting over should now be in full swing. Okay. What? Not to worry. Fosalor has already managed to deceive the heavenly principles. In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only Farina will remain weeping on her throne. Uh, I on. Sau kia là Farina du à không. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. Everything is back to normal. It's a miracle. The water's receding. We didn't dissolve. The prophecy was wrong. The prophecy was wrong. Zoo. Prophecy. 
Giờ được kinh lý rồi Vâng, bộ bãi tan hoang Đúng đổ nát Attacks post disaster rebuilding. I recently visited Poisson to meet with Miss Nab. Old soil can still give birth to new bloom, Miss Nabby. Skyship Winglet, lunar brain of the Fontaine Research Institute. The various disputes that have arisen on account of Mr. Edwin have suddenly become a shield over the Institute, where people always call the first researcher Matt. Wow! Paimon barely recognizes the people in the reports. Are those really Jurier and Navia? They sound like ri What do you think? Pretty enthralling, huh? The Steambird's idea was pretty simple. The value for these big scoops lies in their Edwin's assistant, Jurier, created a true flying ship, while Navia is leading... Paimon's curious, too! Uh, and that's exactly why I'd like you to come conduct interviews with me. Uh, are you sure? Hasn't he turned you down several times already? Oh, this time will be different. Come on, let's head to Puss... Oh. Bế mạc Vâng Nhiệm vụ 10 trên 10 Thì mẹ hơi dài thôi yeah, By the way we, we still playing 16 by 10 so Ta vẫn chơi ở tỷ lệ không bình 10 16 trên 10 nên là thằng YouTube sẽ hơi khó nhìn cho những người sử dụng điện thoại. Cho những bạn sử dụng điện thoại hơi khó nhìn đấy. Thì đi phải chéo chéo lên. Ending rồi. Navia. Oh, it's you. Hey, we're just having a look around. I'm here to update myself on how things are going here. Uh, uh, let me introduce you. This is Mr. Garun Snezhevich. He represented the Nade. Our residents are hard at work as well. Hello, Miss Charlotte. I'm a big fan of yours. But if you don't mind, could you not emphasize our role too? I get where you're coming from. I'll keep it... That would be fine. Be oh, you're back too. How are things? We finished laying down the construction materials. It'll... Huh? Well, her reputation's greatly risen after that whole duel mm -hmm. business with Miss Farina. So she's here in Poisson to wait out the heat. Uh, all right, all right. There's too much to consider in the reconstruction of Poisson. The Spina has need of more decision makers. And, well, I do already happen to be connected to Mr. Callus. Yeah, cả cái con tên này just a moment. Có chuyện phải lo do you mind me asking a few questions? You know, about how you felt before the duel. Uh, <sighs> Forget it. Oh, I see you're the same as always. Well, if we're talking about doing things for my sake, of course I will. I'm not gonna let her off that easy. All right, then everyone who wants to be in the photo, gather up and smile. Hi, chú Phát. Hi, em mười rồi. How did it go? Was it a good? Not bad. Your addition really helped the composition of the picture. All right, hang on a moment. Let me snap a few more shots. All right, that should do it. I'll be back here later anyway, so uh, let's call it a day. <laughs> You're very quick. Speed is of the essence when it comes to the news. Also, not to brag, but I'm pretty good at building connections. Who knows? I might eventually get that interview with you after all, Miss Clarand. <laughs> wow, you really do have... <laughs> I'll hazard a guess that this is how you got that interview at the Fortress of Maripede. Whoa, you're well informed. Let me make a guess too. Oh, okay. That's a very complete. In truth, all Monsieur Nevillette asked. I told him that it was best not to speak. You're right. I've got to treasure every moment I have with them. Biết In which case, I'll be making a move first. Yep, cả phần một, phần hai rồi cho nó dài. Uh, stay safe now. Này. And tell me if you hear anything. In 
Ngành đường vô thích Chả nhìn lên có level 70 Sống mươi này cày này xong lâu Phải luôn Chết Looks like you've been missing us. Duke! Did you come all the way to the... Of course. I'm here to welcome you and our dear Miss Charlotte, whom our good head nurse recommended to me. It's an honor to finally meet the much-rumored Duke. Yeah, hey, so ready, yeah. Thank you for consenting to my visit to the... No need to thank me. But that said... Of course, of... All right, then. This way. Ai, ai, qua, hai cặp này, cặp đuôi này. Hey, no need to be so nervous. Um... It would seem that Miss Lorveen doesn't want her fate. Sir, please don't. <laughs> but it looks like dear Mr. Ju no, I, I, I just... <laughs> Now, I might not look it, but I actually did meet Miss... The boat that brought about a miracle. Still, if I might... Huh. Looks like Shen... I have to apologize, but that ship is presently in the bowels of our factory. I'm afraid it won't be easy for you to... Really? Well, then in that case... You already know my answer, I'm afraid. Best you interview our head nurse instead. Or per... Did you really have to use the word couple? Well, then, two solo photos will do. Is my hair messed up? Please, someone help me have a look. Things sure are getting pretty lively here. Oh, seems like everyone's here. Would any of you like to try this new drink I can- Ah, see- Uh, uh... Hey, Miss Charlotte. Hmm? Uh, sure. Come on, huh? Uh, oh, uh, sure. Uh, do I have to smile? So, oh, yeah. how have things been- Same old, same old, as you can see. Fontaine- Other than that flying I ship, Không I got a tad too much attention, I think. Cùng. That's why Chắc I thì. decided to let the interview go through. We should direct more public... You're too kind, sir. Yeah, 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 I thought that you too should why? have your day in the sun. Not that you would want that, which is a pity. <laughs> I'll just leave the spotlight Don't to you two. You way, you way, you way, say like... What's the name of Quân Ngọc Cát? I think we have more ngoại, ngoại trường, ngoại chuyện, kiểu đấy. Say like Quân Ngọc Cát. I see. Đó Lots of things happened that day, huh? Anyway, regarding that harbinger, I'm not sure you remember, but his three young followers are still waiting for his return. He sure did win. I'll tell them that there's good news and bad news. The good being that their boss seems fine. Oh, act What change can there be? The fortress will keep chugging along, and so will my duties. As to what Miss Farina's departure will mean for the nation, and if our laws and governance will be transformed, we'll leave those to the folks in the overworld. Hey, everyone! The photo shoot's done! Good. In that case, let's call it a day. Thanks for your cooperation. Come on, Traveler, let's go! There'll be a... Maybe! Who knows? I might... All right! Last stop, the docks! Yeah, I'm going to get my hair nhiệm vụ cả đống này còn vậy. <cười> oh yeah, I haven't done anything. dưới, dưới nhảy xuống cho nhanh. No, 
Octavia mentioned that she stayed in touch with Linny and the others after working together. A pa Traveler, Paimon. Oh, and Miss Charlotte, too. Would you like a magic pocket? What sort of gadget is it? It's a wondrous bag that trick a friend. You could just make a friend like Fremine here. Isn't that right, Fremine? <sighs> it... To be honest, that sounds pretty sweet. Could I have your co- Uh, oh. You sure are working hard to help Fremine socialize. He was the one who proposed doing this. He even wants to assist in our magic shows. Yes, I was planning to first introduce Pear as an assistant, and later... F and that said, would anyone want to see a diver escape underwater? Oh, it'll work out. Every journey begins with the first step. He'll become a part of our show eventually. Uh, Lynette, could you come over? Mm Got it. My, that Charlotte is rather perceptive. She got rid of everyone the moment. Father okay. says that you did a great deal yeah, during the latest gì. events. Uh, that's all right. We were more than happy <laughs> to have you. So, what's she doing? Oh, I guess you haven't heard. Well, I guess you haven't heard. Well, after Lady Farina left, Father and Monsieur Nervillet opened negotiations, hay, hay, during which he gave Fontaine's well, gnosis to her as a... A diplomatic guest? A gnosis? <laughs> yes, I was quite surprised I mean. at first. My it could have been done as an apology for the incident with Lord Chai. Furthermore, Father did also lend significant aid to... Well, uh, that's true, but this is a gnosis we're talking about. This is a secret. I would agree, but I've also heard that... I... Uh, so there's... I suspect you'll have to ask him about that yourself. Uh, isn't he? But back to the topic. The gnosis was given... They say that he's returned to Snezhnaya to recover from his wounds. I hear that the recent disaster really did. That's true. When you think about it, we've had loads of run ins with the Fatui. So mm. shocked by such a simple switching of sides? <coughs> Father. <coughs> well, well, what do you know? Come to the They're docks to yet. see how my children are doing and meet the true one by chance. Please do not pay my accomplishments in Fontaine too hi, much hi. mind. I would have done them regardless. Are you going to take the Gnosis yeah, back to Snezhnaya? That is our duty as Harbingers, yes. Don't be too preoccupied with sides. The goal of the Fatui concerns not a single place or person, but switching my masks is something I've always done. Well, that depends on many things. No one truly knows what the future holds. What good is on it? As for you, I very much look forward to our next collaboration. Good things cannot be achieved alone, and you've proved yourselves to be great partners. Mm. A vision. Vision with Antizia. And that's a wrap for me. It, huh? You. You're. Greetings, Miss Journalist. Uh, um, hello. If I'm not mistaken, there are <laughs> diplomatic channels I'll need to report to to take a photo <laughs> of you. <laughs> that <laughs> is correct. So forgive me, but I will not be able to serve as a subject in your article. However, feel free to write as much as you'd like. I, I will. The sea breeze is quite pleasant. Farewell, Father. Oh, she has such an intimidating presence. I didn't even dare to take a picture. Thankfully... I've already wrapped up all my pre-schedule. Don't be too nervous. Why don't you take a magic pocket before you go? Here, Traveler, Paimon, you take... To move things about? That's right. <laughs> I guess this must be life. We will all follow our own path. All right, then. We'll be handing out pockets in some other districts. Uh. Uh, guess we said Charlotte, huh? Should we go see what Nevelette's doing? As long as he's not so busy that he doesn't yeah. have time to chat anyway. Đâu một nhiệm vụ rất dài, chúng ta vẫn còn phải đi chào hỏi. Vâng, người thấy đây là một nơi rất đặc biệt. Đây là một nơi rất đặc biệt.
chí đã quên tay bốn ba rồi cho lan đôi rất đặc biệt đôi gì rất nhiều chim để chúng ta săn Không biết bây giờ còn tiếng không nhỉ? Rồi thôi Nó đi cho xong Chắc là không còn đâu Ít À nó đằng sau ấy, nhưng không phải vào Ít xì Really? Oh, I suppose you must have met Mr. Linny. He took the time to greet me earlier when he passed this way. In any case, you came at a good time. I was just considering reaching out to you to set up a meeting, so I may explain some things that I haven't had the time to before. Chỉ mỗi mình biết thôi Mỗi mình được à, Là người chơi game <cười> It is strange how words can often leave a bitter taste in the mouth When it finally comes time to say them out loud Ngày hôm đó Ngày thứ 185.300 Bên dối <cười> Wow So that's what happened Tôi cũng chỉ biết phần của Furina thôi, còn đâu là nêu với cả phúc cả lò này Như thế cũng không phúc cả lò chết rồi Fusilor destroyed the divine throne of the Hydro Archon and restored your power to you Transform, but Paimon still doesn't quite get what you did to save the Fontanians from dissolving For me, the authority of the ancient dragons refers to absolute control over the hydro element. Fontanians were incomplete humans born of Egeria's use of the power of the primordial sea, with constitutions similar to that of mimics. But so long as those primordial energies remain within them, I could use the ancient... In other words, when I gave my verdict, Fontanians became true humans and thus would naturally no longer be dissolved by water from the primordial sea. Trong khoảnh khắc tôi đưa ra phán quyết người Fontaine đã trở thành con người thực sự và đương nhiên. À. must have counted on you to make that decision as well. Your verdict was the key to making the prophecy of future. Cũng nói trong khoảnh khắc đó, người Fontaine mới thực sự được sinh ra. Yeah, and in a manner of speaking, Fosor finally managed to fulfill the original Hydro Archon's wish to turn It seems from your expressions that you still have more things you wish to ask. Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know it. I have investigated his case along many avenues, and I have learned that he once fell into an unknown case. There, but whether it be by sentiment or as for the judgment passed by the whether it was due to that liability by association or 
Fosa Lord deliberately using him to buy time for us on the assumption that he would be able to hold the creature off, I cannot say. Guess Fosa Lord had Fontanians in mind the whole time. In the end, it was thanks to her that they finally became real human. Uh, hang on a second. Paimon suddenly got another question. Back when Fontanians hadn't yet become real humans, were the children they had also transformed ocean? Life has always flowed like water. Yeah, Lynette said the fountain is where all the... In truth, even those couples did not know that those oceanids who were blessed within the spring water... Uh, Paimon... Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know it. Yeah, about that. I didn't know you were a already left. Ah, Lady Farina. The people are only aware that her... I related Fosalor's words yeah, to her faithfully and Gigi. completely. She simply said that she was... Having said that, she then packed her thing. Um, but she... You need not worry. I will make arrangements to ensure that she... In truth, uh, I am somewhat happy for her. But now that she no longer hey, has to play the role of Fosalor the Hydro Archon, she yeah. can finally lay down her bones and lead. What about you, then? What are you... After Fosalor passed on, the Aura Trees also ceased to function. Hmm. This matter will directly affect our trials. Oh, yeah. After right. much careful consideration... Looks like you're still considering stuff from the perspective of... As an elemental dragon, there right. are indeed many survive. things that... As such, before I attend to my other responsibilities. Additionally, the Hydro Archons... To That's true. That power was derived from the people's faith in the Hydro Archon, wasn't it? Wait, but the various mechs and machines in the city right. are all still okay. Where are they getting their energy from? Story về là 10 trên 10. As I am now... I wow. Yeah, we can't wait game night, isn't it? Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know it. Oh, that's right! They say you've given... Leaving aside their intentionality, the, their sole remaining goal in Fontaine, at least at this point, the Oratrice has ceased to function. The Hydro Archon's divine throne is... As such, it has lost all me... If the Fatui have impure designs, then we might have... Uh, what Ask away. I will, I will tell, tell you the, the truth, truth as I know it. No you will soon be heading to Natlan, I presume. Yeah. Cuối rồi, những đoạn này là cuối mà Đợt là hồi xưa cũng thế Hồi xưa làm Sumeru cũng thế I'm afraid that I have little talent as a travel guide Chứ còn đâu là bạn So all I can do is tell you what I know about that land Once that we leave away, chỉ có ảnh này, chỉ có quay As far as I'm aware, Natlon can be said to be a nation A nation of dragons? No, I suspect that I would not Unlike ancient dragons such as myself Natlon is also the nation of There is one other piece of information The harbinger known as the captain has thro the captain. I suggest that you fully prepare your ask away. I, I will tell, tell you the, the truth, truth as I know it. Okay, get up right. Uh, hang on a sec. Paimon still... When we spoke to Linny earlier, we guessed that there might be some... Hmm, no wonder that. So regarding this specific issue, I was just... Uh, In truth, I exchanged some further words with that lady named Skirk after sending you two back to the surface. It went something like this. Gì nữa? Mẹ còn có thằng nào đang mời vào thế giới ấy? Có mẹ rồi. Well, we're going to head topside to see what's going on. You heard... What next? Hmm. The I can finally catch the scent of your... It is the authority of the planet's primordial dragons. But with something very simple... I'm sure I've encountered something like this before. I do not know what you... Ah... <sighs> You should have the remains of the third descender. Remains? I've never heard of any such thing. Huh. According... Well, that much is true. But I fear I have never heard of it described in the manner that you... I've been training with my mass. It is only natural for those who are... Regardless, you should probably get rid of objects of misfortune. To live in itself is a blessing. But once a person... What do you mean? <sighs> no need to fret. These are just my personal thoughts and my reason for no longer wishing to return to the surface. This third descender you refer to, who are they and when did... <laughs> Master never mentioned them to me. Perhaps it just wasn't that important for me to know. If you're interested though, I could ask him. I'll be sure to pass the answer on to you next time. Next time? Next you believe time. we will meet again? Don't think so. I do. 
I do go Wait. pink. Oh, don't worry. That's what she told me. With the remains of... So that's what the no sees. All the same, assuming that there was no mis... And she said that it would bring misfortune and that you should check it. Uh -huh. Which is why you gave it to the... If she speaks the truth, then I would simply be putting Fontaine at... Cái đồ bộ này là cái gì? Tôi là cái bộ đồ... À, bộ đồ... Đồ bộ thứ tư. I had guessed that you might already be familiar with this. That means that the no sees. Hmm. I wonder. Like, uh... No, no, let's not... Comparing the traveler to the dead third descent. That's what you say, but this can't be... <sighs> What's child recovered? Let's get... I too believe it unwise to make too many blind... All right. What if... Yes. Oh. But... She sacrificed... I suppose that would be the mystery of a god. I suspect not. But once in a while, I too would guess that if wish life flows like water, and I rain is the final answer, my foot. and what ultimately is the difference between the rains that fall upon all of us? Okay. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. I'm done. Come on, stand there. Yeah. Đây như là nhiệm vụ của ai nhỉ? Như là của Yoi đúng không? Ừ, vẫn chưa xong. Uh, so there you go. Uh, xong rồi. Nhiệm vụ cuối cùng của series nhiệm vụ truyền uh, ma thần uh, con tên đã đến hồi kết. Thì ở đây. It seems from your expressions that you still have ask away. Tôi tôi hết rồi. I will tell you the truth as I I suggest that you fully prepare. Okay. Hết rồi. Mà thì ai Teleport đi và quay trở lại xem nó như thế nào Xem biến mất chưa Chắc là sẽ biến mất thôi Mình nhớ hồi làm uh, nhiệm vụ ma thần uh, Inazuma Yai đứng ở trên cây anh đào Rồi đúng rồi Mình teleport đi uh, Chuyến mất Thế Xem là còn mấy cái gì Vũ liệu của tội lỗi Vũ ma thần đúng không Sao được gần 100 kinh nghiệm không ngờ là Torina lại có một cái cốt truyện như vậy quá hay quá đỉnh cao không hổ danh là thủy thần nhìn trẻ trâu ấy rồi mà có một quá khứ quá là đau lòng như vậy nốt hay như ấy Ok Hai tiếng hai mươi chín phút Đợi tí nữa trên hai tiếng rưỡi rồi chúng ta sẽ kết thúc Ok Hy vọng là Phai sẽ hoạt động hai tiếng rưỡi 
Ok, chúng ta sẽ kết thúc video tại đây.